Mr. Pierce, on the amendment. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Moder Moderator. Uh, I'm Michael Pierce, living at 16 Hebman Avenue. And I've been on the Budget Committee for a number of years, selectman for a little while, and uh, the Budget Committee reviewed this budget with a lot of effort and blood, sweat, and tears. And what it boils down to is we took a look at 2014's budget, okay, and then we looked at how much was left over at the end of the year, which was somewhere in the general vicinity of $900,000. And then we just looked at the default budget, which had a lot of things in there that shouldn't have been there, in my opinion. They were in run around the voters. And then we looked at the budget itself, and it included a lot of 9 and 12 percent raises. Are all of you getting 9 and 10 percent raises? I'm not. Okay, so let's look at this realistically. Okay, the first thing we have to look at is what do we need? As I said in my editorial to the paper the other day, the requested budget was a want list. Okay, when I was a selectman and the department heads come in and they had all the things they wanted, we asked them what do you really need and we worked through the budget. This particular Board of Selectmen didn't ask too many questions that I could see. They just basically passed it on to the, <clears throat> to the Budget Committee. That's my opinion. I'm not saying that they did a good job or a bad job, I'm just saying they did it differently. They didn't really overhaul the Department Head's requested budgets. It just floated on through. So my point is this. It was left up to the Budget Committee to try to decide what we really need for the operating the town of Hampton. When you look at 2014's budget and you have that much money left over to the end of the year, we decided we'd take a sort of a middle of the road approach. Look at what they wanted, the selectmen wanted, and then compare that to what we needed from last year's budget. And that happens to be about $750,000, give or take a few cents, over last year's budget. So if you add $750,000 onto $900,000, that's approximately $1.6 million that they would have with the Budget Committee's budget at the end of the year if all goes well and we don't have any big snowstorms. And to rebut Mr. Lang's comment about the ambulances, that doesn't come out of the budget. That comes out of the ambulance fund, most of that. So let's keep apples over in the apple basket, oranges in the orange basket. So I'm definitely against this amendment. A lot of work went into this. It was well thought out, and it's a really, the Budget Committee's budget is a compromise between unrealistic number and last year's required monies. And as I just got done saying, it's about 900000 over what they needed this last year. Thank you, Mr. Roderick. I'm all set. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. Uh, 